32 years ago, the Corberti family built a karting track halfway between Milan and Venice on the south, uh, southern shores of Lago di Garda, south of the town of Desenzano. And three decades on, just slightly over, it has certainly cemented itself as the centre of the karting world. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Lonato. Welcome to South Garda Karting. Welcome to the final day of the WSK Euro Series. It is a double header weekend. This weekend, we have four finals to race this morning. That counts for round two of the WSK Euro Series. Remember, we started back at Sarno at the foot of Vesuvius in early July. And then this afternoon, we do it again. We race four finals once again. That counts for round three of the 2020 WSK Euro Series to decide the titles for 2020. 226 drivers from 34 nations around the world. Many of us have juggled all sorts of bureaucratic hurdles and let's be honest, unnecessary paperwork just to be here. But it's a glorious day. You can see the sun is shining here in the north of Italy at the end of summer in the northern hemisphere. The worst is behind us. We are back on track. And in a few moments time, we race round two of the WSK Euro Series for 2020. Riccardo Longhi won the first round of the series at Sarno from Adrian Renaudan and Giuseppe Palomba. Riccardo will start on pole position and he leads the virtual championship on 182 points. He's in cart number four for the Beryl R team. His teammate in cart number three is on 172 points and starts immediately behind him on the grid. It is a world-class field. We started with 67 drivers in the KZ2 category. We've had a brilliant weekend of racing. Marain Kramers, the reigning world champion in the 66 Ricardo Kart. The Patrizzi course driver from the Netherlands. He took pole position on, I was going to say Friday, but it was much earlier in the week than that. It was, I think off memory, Wednesday afternoon that the 22 year old Dutchman scorched around the Lonato circuit in a time of 45.638 to take pole position. He starts at grid two and Mirko Torsellini out of grid four. He's the first cut not manufactured by Birol Art. The Kart Republic of 75, the driver from Toscana, in fact, the two drivers from Toscana, Mirko Torsellini and Danilo Albanese, will start four and five on the grid. And just behind them is Europe Pex, JPEX 74, another Kart Republic. So three Birol Art effectively, although Moraine Kramer's in the colors of Ricardo Kart, he's second on the grid. Longhi and Palomba, one and three in the red and white machines. As we say, well over 200 drivers here for this double header weekend. By the end of today, we'll, we will have raced 88 times. Counting all the heats, the pre-finals and the finals today. Round two, just repeating, round two of the WSK Euro Series to be raced this morning. And the finals, or round three, to be raced this afternoon and we award the championships for 2020. Well, it's been a brilliant week. Before we do race the finals, let's take a look back at what has happened thus far this week at Lonato. On board with the 2013 Junior World Champion, Alessio Lorandi on his home circuit, Moraine Kramer's MK. On screen in cart 66, he took pole position and has certainly been in form, taking a couple of heat wins throughout the week. Starts on grid number two, the red and white machines, Viral Art, cart four. To start on pole position, the series leader, Ricardo Longhi and Giuseppe Palomba, cart three. To start right behind him on the grid. Boom, boom, fast. 36, the Dutchman in the Soddy cart, the two time World Cup champion. Taking the fight up to the Beryl Art team. Rarely out of the top three. So aggressive, so strong is Bass. 
Ricardo Longhi, though, the driver to beat. He's the series leader, and he will start out of pole position alongside MK in 66. Stand the man in cart 32 as well. But it is the team from Lissone to the north of Milan who are certainly the drivers to beat here this weekend. We'll take a look at the grid for you in just a moment. You can see just a couple of clouds in the sky hanging over this magnificent 1.2 kilometre circuit that was built back in 1988, but the track is dry. We had a tremendous thunderstorm on Wednesday night in the town of Desenzano, which nobody saw coming, regardless of which weather app forecast they were watching. There was nothing on the radar. It bucketed down on Wednesday night. We got to the track and there were some puddles standing water, but we have raced completely all week on slick tires. There is the track on your screen. South Garda karting Lonato, 1.2 kilometers. As we say, Marine Kramers with a 45.638. The fastest qualifier. There he is to the left of your screen, just still a few moments away prior to the start. Marine's so relaxed, doesn't even have the helmet on yet. Behind him, Mirko Torsalini, the two drivers from Tuscany. Mirko, 75, and Danilo Albanese, 73 for the Kart Republic team. There is the pole sitter, Ricardo Longhi, from Reggio Emilia, not far from the circuit of Imola, which is back on the Formula One calendar for the first time since 2006. He climbs aboard the four, Birrell Art, starting out of pole position. There's MK, the helmet goes on. 66, the Ricardo Kart, the Patrizzi course driver, the fastest qualifier in the 66 Ricardo. The favorite to beat, you wouldn't actually say that. Ricardo Longhi has just been in white hot form all week. Marain wanders over to the track to the right of your screen to wish his, well, half teammate, former teammate, best of luck. The same to Giuseppe Palomba. Confident, isn't he? It's the Dutchman. Just a few minutes away from the start. We welcome you watching us live all around the world on WSK.IT. Also watching us live on the official Facebook page of WSK Promotion. The WSK Euro Series, which started at Sarno, Circuito Internazionale Napoli, where we race on the 13th of December, just two weeks before Christmas. The reset, rescheduled calendar. That's the last race of 2020, the WSK Final Cup. As you look at Mirko Torsellini starting out of grid four in cart 75, right behind, that was JPEX, the 2015 world champion, Jorrit, from the Netherlands, the older of the two brothers racing here, Jorrit and Stan. Jorrit on the third row of the grid. Another cart manufactured by Birrell Art as we get ready for the green flag to fly. Matteo Vigano, the reigning, oh, sorry, the 2018 KZ2 International Super Cup champion for the Lennox Racing Charles Leclerc team on the fourth row of the grid. There are 34 carts on the grid. It is a world-class field. This is round two of the WSK Euro Series. The podium presentation in 21 laps time. And then we come back this afternoon to race round three and decide the titles for 2020. So here we go, the first of eight finals today as we take a look at the grid. It is Ricardo, the series on leader on pole, MK out of two, Palomba, Torsellini, Danilo Albanese, JPEX, Matteo Vigano, Lorenzo Complessi for SC Performance, Victor Gustafsson and Tom Luye in the 47 Praga who's been, been in brilliant form. Alex Irlando in the five, Beryl Art, Paolo Ippolito, the 61 CRG, Emilian Denner, Senna Van Wallstein, Noah Millel, Jeremy the Jet back on 16, Marcella Dale, Boom Boom Bass out of 19. And alongside him, Jean Nomblo for CPB Sport, Marco Tormann, the Austrian Marcus Funda, Davide De Marco, Alexander Dalberg, Alessio Piccini and Benjamin Tornquist. The Sicilian Marco Valenti, Carbonell, Renaud Dan on the podium at the first round of the series in Sarno. He's back on the 15th row of the grid. 
alongside Leonardo Pizzotto for Team NGM Motorsport. Samuel Luyer, Petra Patacci from the Czech Republic in the 54 RS car, just a few days after racing at Magni Cors in F3 in the Euro Cup. And then it's Hubert Petit and Gilles Stutzbutter, the 37 Vortex powered Tony Kart. On the final spot on the grid is the Belgian. The track in absolutely peak condition. What a sight this is. South Garda Karting Lonato, the first of eight finals here. You're watching us live on WSK.IT. This is round two of the WSK Euro Series. Longy, the series leader, 182 points on pole. MK, the fastest qualifier, the 66. Patrizzi course, Ricardo Kart. Out of grid two, he'll be on the left of your screen. There's the Dutchman alongside the Italian. KZ2, the road racing rocket ships. Noemi Lel forms up. The Swede on the eighth row of the grid in the 55 Tony Kart. A row behind the 44 Tony Kart. The bottom right of your screen of Emilia Dana. Kart four, Longy on pole. Welcome to the center of the karting universe. The WSK Euro Series here at South Garda Karting. Nice start by Kramer as he got the power down nicely. All 50 horses going on to the bitumen. And the Dutchman, the fastest qualifier, the reigning world champion, takes the lead from the fastest, oh, sorry, the pole sitter, Harikata the Longi, who's into second place. They have a clean start down through the newly extended part of the circuit. That part of the track built in 2016 to bring us up to the current length of 1.2 kilometers. This is the first lap of 21, the KZ2 final round two of the WSK Euro Series as Kramer's leads from Longi. We're looking for the first of the Kart Republics in third place as they come across the line for the first time. It will be Kramer's from Palomba, Torsolini in third place. Palomba's back to four from JPEX Albanese. As Kramer's leads them down the back straight for the first time. So Longhi in second place. Tortellini, who won his pre-final yesterday. He will start from the front row of the grid for the third round of the series to decide the titles later this afternoon. But he sits in third place here this morning. There's Palomba in fourth, just ahead of JPEX. Of course, he won that world championship at Le Mans in 2015. The circuit which has otherwise occupied this weekend with the biggest race on earth as we concentrate on this. The third lap of the KZ2 final for round two. It is Kramers from Longhi, Torsolini, Palomba. And it's Europex as Torsolini slides down through turns two and three. Albanese back to six from Viganò. Ippolito in the CRG8. Come place in there. Tom Luye in the background. The 47 Praga card inside the top ten. Having to go wheel to wheel with Lorenzo Complacy dives down the inside of the 15 SC performance cart. He's gone through Luyet. He's now into ninth place. Complacy goes back to 10. As Ricardo, the series leader, has a big look at the back of his half teammates. Of course, they finished in this order last year in the World Championships. Marain in the red and white colors. Now he's flying the flag for the Daniel Ricciardo Cup racing team. Position one, and Tom Luyer has gone through on Complacy. Now he hones in on the back of Paolo Ippolito. There in the background is the CRG of another driver from Tuscany. Ippolito with a 46.503 is the fastest driver at the moment on the circuit. Ippolito closing in on the back of Viganò. So the Italians fairly well dominating the top 10, but it's the Dutchman MK in position one. This is lap four that they're completing now. Longhi still on the back of Kramers. Starting to push his former teammate. 
He's looking good, Ricardo, in cart four. Torsellini in the cart republic. He's in a Birol Art sandwich. Ricardo's ahead of him. Giuseppe Palomba right behind him. Giuseppe now with a 46-3. He's the fastest driver on the circuit. A move down the inside just in the background. As Hippolito tries to make his way up. There's the Cart Republics. Albanese and Bex and Matteo Viganol in the Lennox Racing Charles Leclerc Cart. Clean tactical start here for the first of our eight finals this morning. There's Luye going down the hill in the Praga Cart. It's a place ahead of Complese Dena. Alex Hirlando, 12 from Milel. Iglesias and Lemmers up to 15th after starting on the 10th row of the grid. The gap two tenths of a second. Albanese lowers the best time, although that's immediately beaten by Tom Luyet. So the race settles down. This is quarter to race distance. KZ2. The final here this morning. Kramers has got this under control at the moment. Longy in second place. Doesn't need to win the race to take the series as it stands. He's on 232 points. Palombo on 202. Torsellini on 156. The race leader. Kramer's on 134. Kramer's. Longhi Torsellini, you get the sense this race will come alive towards the closing stages. No one has barely passed another driver yet. There's Vigano in the background, just as I say that. Ricardo Longhi again closes in on the back of Kramer's. The race leader got this under control. Torsellini still sits there. That's the Cart Republic of Mirko from Siena in Toscana. He was fourth in the 2014 World Championships held at Sarno, which was the race for the last of Marco Ardigol's three World Championship titles. The Brescian, who's here this weekend coaching the Tony Kart Junior team. Mirko Torsellini in form for the Kart Republic team. This field raced down the start, finish straight at over 140 kilometers an hour. That was Dale going through ahead of Senna Van Wallstein, Davide De Marco, Piccini, Samuel Ullier. Funda, the Austrian, Nomblo, Carbonell, Marcelia down in 24, and Renaud Dan, 25. He was on the podium. He finished second at the first round of the series in Sarno. Adrien Renaud Dan for CPB Sport down in 25th place. No one passing anyone, but they're starting to bunch up at the moment. Tom Luyer still looking good in the Praga cart. He's in position nine. He's done a purple sector. There he is in the background. Closes in on the back of the CRG. That's a move he's almost on for fifth place. There's Danilo Albanese on the back of Giuseppe Palomba. The cart republics now starting to sandwich the driver from Napoli, who's fourth on the road, second in the series. Kramers, Longy closes up under brakes each time, but Moraine's got this under control. Remember in 2016, his first year in KZ1, the young Dutchman was just 18, in fact, 17 years of age. And he went wheel to wheel with Paolo De Conto, a couple of fastest laps or pole positions in qualifying. Back four years ago, couldn't quite match the recently retired Paolo De Conto who went on to take the European and World Championship. We saw his talent back then. Going wheel to wheel with the then best, Marco Ardigo and Paolo De Conto. Of course, they're both retired, but in the last 12 months, Moran Kramers has announced himself as the driver to beat. He still leads as we approach half race distance and Moran now with a 45, 939. The first two pull, start to pull away from Mirko Torsellini. And it's Palomba being attacked by Albanese. There's Hippolito going through. No Nilel ahead of Andrea Dale behind Lamas, who's into 14th, but won't make the podium. 
this afternoon, the Dutchman, the 2010-2012 World Cup champion in the 36th Saudi Kart. Rarely outside the top three, but he had a disappointing pre-final by his own lofty standards yesterday. And Bass behind Jeremy Iglesias, who himself in the 21 Formula K kart was consistently in the top three. But Jeremy down in 13th, the driver who won the Winter Cup at this very circuit for Formula K three years ago. He's ahead of Lummers, behind them Noemi Lell in the 55 Tony Kart. Noah, whose uncle Johnny won the Formula Super A World Championships back in 1996 at this very circuit. As Matthew Viganol dives down the inside and picks up another place. Noah wasn't even born when his uncle Johnny won that title 24 years ago with that last lap pass on Alessandro Manetti. Noah wearing the colours of his great uncle, the Swedish driver. And he's in 15th place, head of Dale and centre Ben Wallstein. Matthew Viganol with that move. A purple sector as well. There is the driver from Bergamo. Outside Milan, the Charles Leclerc. Lennox racing card in position five. This is lap 13 of 21. Kramers has got this under control. Move down the inside. Giuseppe Palomba goes wheel to wheel. Torsolini gets him on the exit. The drivers from Napoli and Tuscany respectively. And here comes Il Bergamasco, the driver from Bergamo. Matteo Vigano on the charge. Watch Cartate down into the hairpin. It is still Tortellini under immense pressure from the carts built at Lissone on the outskirts of Milan. The Birol Art, the Charles Leclerc Lennox racing cart. That was JPEX coming through. The 2015 world champion in seventh place, cart 74. In the Cart Republic, there's Kramer's Longy. And then this battle for the final step of the podium. Palomba, position three, tries to... Uh, position four in Cart three, tries to go down the inside. Miracle covers him off. The driver from Siena, the circuit that hosted the Italian Championships last weekend. Incidentally, we decide the Italian Championships for OK and OK Junior later on this morning as well. For the Automobile Club of Italy, we race in conjunction with them here at the WSK Euro Series. Vigano moved down the inside. It's not quite on from Danilo Albanese. Also from Tuscany in the centre of Italy. But it's the driver from the Netherlands pulling away. MK has it under control today. Four tenths of a second from Riccardo Longhi. There's Vigano. He's now into fourth place. He goes by Palomba, who falls back to P5. Palomba second in the series, loses valuable points with each position. He drops down the order. Giuseppe Palomba now into fifth. Kramers has this under control. Longhi tries to go with him, but can't quite match the pace of the reigning world champion. There's Tom Luye coming on to the straight. Position eight for the Praga Kart 47. The order at the left of your screen. Good drive also from Emilian Denner as Palomba has to go defensive. Vigano dives down the inside. Matteo Vigano with that move moves up onto the podium. Kart eight for the Charles Leclerc Lennox racing team has gone through past Mirko Torsellini in the Cart Republic. Three different brands, but they're all manufactured by Birol Art, and they run one, two, and three. The Ricardo Kart of the race leader of the reigning world champion, Kramers, from Longhi in the factory for Birol Art. And with that, the Lennox Racing Charles Leclerc Kart, built by Birol Art, moves into third place. Kramers, Longhi, and Matteo Vigano, the Birol Art team dominating here this morning. The KZ2 final, the WSK Euro Series, here at the center of the karting universe. This is Lonato. This is the first of our eight finals today, and Kramers is pulling away. 
gap out to half a second. The two Cart Republics trade positions. The two drivers from Tuscany trade positions. Danilo Albanese goes by Mirko Tortellini. There's the Cart Republics. They're four, five, and six. Danilo from Mirko and JPEX. Palomba falls back to seven. Palomba falls way off the podium, losing points in the series. And Tom Louye in the Praga cut. On the charge, he's the Frenchman. He's in eighth, trying to chase down Giuseppe Palomba, who finished on the podium at the first round of the series at Sarno. The dying stages of the first of our eight finals today. The WSK Euro Series here at Lonato. The team from Lissone are dominating in the gearbox, the shifter cart category. The cart republics of Dino Chiesa. There they go across the line. They're four, five, and six. Albanese, Tortellini, and Pex. Tom Luyer tries to line up Giuseppe Palomba. Giuseppe in seventh place. We've got less than three laps remaining now. MK, it's a Sunday morning drive for the Dutchman. 0.47, half a second. There's the order at the bottom of your screen as we go down through the field. Half a second back to Ricardo Longhi, who has got the series lead going into today's final round this afternoon here at Lenato. 232 points for Longhi. Palomba 187. Matteo Vigano can't take the title, but he can stand on the podium, which he's likely to do in two laps time. The Patrizzi course driver from the Netherlands. A few days ago, racing at Magni Course. This is where it's at, though. Well, he's on quiet admission. This is so competitive, not to make comparisons, though. But wow, a world-class field. The reigning world champion on a track he absolutely loves. He's going to come around onto the straight to get the last lap board. Moraine Kramers, the Patrizzi course driver, 66, the Ricardo Kart, gets the last lap board. There's the series leader. That's the pole sitter. That's the round one winner from Sarno. That's Ricardo Longhi in second place in cut four. Vigano up onto the podium, the driver from Bergamo. Albanese Torsellini pecks the Kart Republics four, five, and six. But it's the team from Lissone who are dominating here this morning. Kramer's in the Ricardo Kart. Longhi in the factory. Birrell Art Kart 4. And Matteo Vigano and the Lennox Racing Charles Leclerc Kart. They're 1, 2, 3. They will lock out the podium here this morning. The second round of the WSK Euro Series. The first final of the day. The reigning world champion. He comes. 66. MK takes the victory here at Lunato. Longhi across the line in second. Vigano, fabulous drive into third. He started fourth on the grid. Lead home the Cut Republics of Albanese, Pex, and Torsellini. Adrian Renaudan, remember the CPB Sports Saudi Cut, who was on the podium. At the first round of the series at Sarno, finishes way down the field, a disappointing 22nd place. There is the podium, the Birrell Arts, one, two, three in their various team colours. As we take a look at the results, it's the Dutchman, it's the Dutch national anthem. We will hear Longhi in second place, Vigano in third. Ahead of the Cart Republics of Albanese, Pex, Torsellini, Palomba, Luyed, Lorenzo Complese and Emilian Dan, a good try from him. The 44 Tony Cart comes home in position 10. So Kramer's P1 wins it by half a second. Bass, unfortunately, didn't finish. The Dutchman down in 33rd place. But it's his countryman who stands on the top step of the podium. A good start to the day here at Lonato. 
the drivers make their way up to the podium. We'll take a very short break. We'll be back with you. The podium presentation, round two, KZ2, the WSK Euro Series here at Nonato. The podium in just a moment. Podium presentation. The first of our eight podiums today as the drivers make their way up. It is indeed the, the team properly sorting. We said it all throughout the race, but they have dominated here this morning. The KZ2 final, round two of the WSK Euro Series. Marain and Mateo make their way up to the podium. Ricardo is already here, of course. He's got the series lead going into the final later this afternoon. The Vega Caps go on. And we're ready to get on with the podium presentation here this morning for round two of the WSK Euro Series. KZ2 in third place for the Lennox Racing Charles Leclerc team, Matteo Vigano. In second place for the Birol Art team, and with that, the series lead into this afternoon's final. The Italian, Riccardo Longhi. He controlled the race from the start. The Patrizzi course driver for the Riccardo car team. The winner of round two of the Euro Series, Moraine Kramers. The trophies, third place, Matteo. Second, Ricardo Longhi and MK takes round two of the WSK Euro Series here this morning. And with that, the national anthem of the Netherlands. Lift up the trophies, Matteo, Ricardo, and Moraine. That is the KZ2 final for round two of the WSK Euro Series. Our second final for OK here at Lanato in just a moment. <laughs> 